Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Monday morning, a Sunday but cold morning out there. Definitely a coffee kind of morning. Uh, second time I'm doing this, ironically <coughs> uh, or coincidentally, Mr. Glenn Calloway was just here picking up a uh, an amazing um, King Crimson CD package that he let me borrow um, over the last, oh gosh, it must be a couple of months now. Uh, I was hoping he'd forget. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. It's an amazing, it's got a Blu-ray with it as well. It's just remarkable. Uh, these guys are so, so good. Anyway, uh, he always starts his videos and he sneezes. Well, that just happened to me too. So I think Glenn brought his, <clears throat> whatever he has with him to make me sneeze. <laughs> Love you, Glenn. Love you so much. Um, today I want to continue my Albus Discover series through Discog Shuffle. Love this series. I'm having a great time with it. Talk about these guys, Echo and the Bunnymen. Uh, this is a great little box set. <clears throat> and in particular, uh, the shuffle came up with this album here, self-titled Echo and the Bunnymen. I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, before I do, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Also hit that little bell so you know when I'm gonna be uh, doing more videos, just so I can continue to show you great content and show you uh, some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Uh, I go all over the map. Uh, yesterday I talked about 10 years after the great British blues band. Well, <clears throat> well today I'm going to talk about Echo and the Bunnymen, another great British band, but more post-punk and new wave and pop rock from the 80s. So I go all over the place. So again, hit that like and subscribe button below. And uh, I greatly appreciate all my uh, subscribers and everyone that's left so many wonderful comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Eck and the Money Men, a uh, great English rock band formed in 1978. As I said, they're a post-punk, uh, new wave pop rock band uh, featuring Ian McCulloch on vocals, Will Sargent on guitar, great, great guitarist, uh, Les Pattison on bass, and Pete uh, DeFreitas, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, on drums. Uh, these box sets, by the way, great way to start a discography, add to a discography, or complete a discography at not much money. There's five, their first five albums are in this one for about maybe 25 bucks Canadian. Um, but, uh, and they're, they sound great, um, well packaged. Um, and anyway, their debut album, Crocodiles, great, great album, great debut. Um, released in 1980, hit number 17 in the UK charts. Uh, Pictures on my wall and Rescue are the big singles off of this one. I'm as I said earlier, Will Sargent, such a great, great guitarist. I don't want to compare them to you two, but he's got that edge type of lead work where there's not a lot of notes compared to, say, an Alvin Lee that I talked about yesterday that hits every note in the fretboard. He does single notes, but just the way he plays, it's, it's, it's so good. Uh, opening track, Going Up, a great, great opening track on this one. And you got Stars and Stars, uh, love this track. Um, dramatic and uh, um, so great. I mean, the first two or three tracks on this one are so, so good. Uh, the title track, Crocodile, <clears throat> another great um, track with some great guitar work. Heavy bass run on All That Jazz. I mean, there's so many, so many good songs on this one. Great debut. And uh, love, the, uh, love the cover as well. Next, we have um, Heaven Up Here. Another great cover. I think this one won an award. This cover. Um, again, on the Nova, no, no, Norova label. <clears throat> um, so Heaven Up Here is the second album by the band released in 1981. Uh, it was a first top 10 release. 
and their first entry into the States, reaching 184 on the Billboard's 200. Um, Promise and, and Over the Wall are, are, are singles off of this one. Uh, it won um, the Best Album Awards from the New Music Express in 1981, and I think at the same time it won the, the uh, Album Cover of the Year as well in the same awards <clears throat> benefit. Um, it reached uh, number 463 on the on the list of top 500 albums of all time from Rolling Stone, so no slouch of an album for sure. Uh, love the opening track, slow, um, um, show of strength, so so good. Um, the rock and heaven up to here, and uh, like the final track, all I want. And uh, there's so many good tracks in between as well. Great little album, great little album. Uh, next, Porcupine. They definitely have a uh, an animal theme going on here with crocodiles, porcupine. Another great cover. Snowbound cover on that one. <clears throat> Again, on the Nero, Nerova label. Uh, third studio album released in 1983. It's their highest charting uh, album, reaching number two in the UK. Uh, singles off it are uh, The Back of Love, The Cutter. Um, which happens to be the first two tracks off the album as well. Sorry, uh, there's some, uh, some. Uh, I think the cable work going on from the guy downstairs. Um, love the track, Heads Will Roll as well. And uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Hopefully he doesn't cut my cable off. Uh, love the sitar sounds. On that one, heads will roll. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you've got the cutter, the back of love, my white devil, clay, porcupine, amazing, amazing track. Heads will roll, uh, ripeness, a higher, uh, higher hell, gods will be gods, and in bluer skies. Great, great album. Great, great album. Then uh, Ocean Rain, another beautiful cover. I also have, the only vinyl I have of these guys is Ocean Rain as well. Um, recorded in 1984, fourth studio album by the band, reaching number four in the UK charts. The Killing Moon, Silver, uh, Seven Seas, big singles off of this one. Uh, Nocturnal Me is an orchestra-filled, dramatic song. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, like Crystal Days, um, My Kingdom. Uh, nice, nice lead on this one. Um, it's so good. You've got Silver, Nocturnal Me, Crystal Days, The Yo-Yo Man, The Killing Moon, Thorn of Crowns, Seven Seas, My Kingdom, and Ocean Rain, the title track. So, so good. But the album we're talking about today <clears throat> that came up on the shuffle is the self-titled Echo and the Bunnymen. Different label. It's on the Wii label. Um, <clears throat> it's the fifth studio album by the band released in 1987. Unfortunately, the last to feature their drummer, Pete DeFredes, who was killed in a motorcycle accident. Uh, he was only 27 at the time. He died in 1989. Um, they were going through some issues. Ian uh, McCullough was uh, drinking a lot more heavier. Um, it was difficult to record this album. A lot more keyboards on this one. Uh, unlike their previous four albums that had a lot of strings in there. But I tell you what, it's I find it's their best album and their most accessible album. I, I just find that every song on this is uh, is remarkable. Some of the keyboard songs come some of the keyboardists on this one are uh, uh, Henry Preston, Jake Brockman, and the great Rayman Zurich. 
He played uh, keyboards on Bed Bugs and uh, Belly Who. Uh, great, great track. Um, and uh, there's so many good songs on this one. Every track on this one is good. Um, again, it's, it, it sounds more mature. Uh, sounds more, um, again, more accessible. Uh, you've got uh, The Game, Over You, Bed Bugs and Belly Who. Uh, All in Your Mind, uh, Bomber's Bay, Lips Like Sugar, love that track, Lost and Found, New Direction, uh, Blue Blue Ocean, Satellite, and All My Life. All My Life is a great, great track. Um, as I said, there's not a bad track on this album. It's, it's so good. I find out of the four, which are amazing, uh, this fifth one is, uh, is, to me, their best. I don't know, it's because they came of age. Uh, they finally got everything together. Uh, they hit their stride. Um, they changed their style, perhaps, and they maybe their way of producing, but it's just a great, great album. So there you have it. There's my Elves to Discover series through Discog Shuffle. Check out Echo and the Bunnymen. Check out this little box set. Uh, I think Richard McCook is a big fan of uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, uh, and he, he probably knows a hundred times more about this band than I do, but uh, still, I'm happy to have it in my collection. And um, let's go. Let's see what else we have. So we'll go to Discog Shuffle. Sorry about my dogs earlier. <clears throat> so there you have it. We'll go to random item oh they, they <laughs> Jesus Christ superstar the actual uh, the original motion picture soundtrack awesome love this one I've got the original Broadway version with uh, uh, Ian Gillen in it and uh, this is with Ted Neely in it so I'm looking forward to this one so there you have it there's my next albums to discover I also want to continue my um, my uh, BCLT reviews. Uh, having a lot of fun doing that as well to review all these great albums that I've received as BCLT, and um, I'm going to continue that as well. So uh, I may take a bit of a break tomorrow. It's going to be a long day at work, but uh, I'll be back on um, Wednesday and Thursday with more with more videos. So anyway, guys, take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.